It's bloody massive, isn't she, when she comes out of the water? Oh, my God, it's letting its own. That is mental. That is mad. My dad didn't let the cat in the lounge. Fucking hippo in here. That was the best of everything. An animal here that normally kills people, right? It's a number one killer, a hippo, right? You have to trek. You have to stay well back. You can't see it. You've got to look at hippos through binoculars. Suddenly, there I am in a house where someone's got one as a pet. A hippo in the house. Tea on demand, biscuits when you want them, hippo in the front room. <laughs> that is the ideal. <laughs> Why always see them in the same surroundings? Because it's, it's in a lake. Cruel. It's not cruel. In this case, it can it go would have free. Been dead. It would have been dead, it was saved. But could I just say that wild animals should never be kept as pets? You can't suddenly start keeping wild animals in council houses in case you pop round for a biscuit and want to see one. <laughs> I'm just saying, that for me, I'll never forget it. It's a surreal moment. You, you've seen hippos out in the wild. It's boring. boring. I've, I've seen hippos near natural habitat. Boring. What, what chair are you sitting in? How Where, good would the carpet? it be, Where's the carpet, you faggot? <laughs> so you're telling me you'd rather queue up at the zoo to see some animal sat like that on a rock looking fed up than walking into a house not knowing what's in there Going, oh, what's in here? Wandering in, oh, that nice plasma you've got. Oh, nice sofa. There's a gorilla in the corner. <laughs> Honestly, taking an animal like that and seeing it in normal surroundings, it makes it even weirder. It's amazing. I'll never forget it. I'll forget a lot of the other things. But the hippo in the house was the highlight. Hippo thing. in the house was brilliant. That and the volcano, they're the highlights of the whole yeah. thing.